Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. Today we are here to see how to simplify a spline or a polyline. It will be a really quick video but uh, it's gonna be really really interesting I think. And also helpful. Let's start immediately to import a file. It is a simple 2D DXF that can be imported also using the basic version of uh, B-Solid. But if we go in the right panel and we click on the little arrow in order to explode and see what's inside this geometry, we are able to see that there are a lot of lines. So no arcs at all. And if we go all the way down, we see that it's made out of 280 lines. Of course, we can uh, uh, go ahead, create the panel and machine it as it is, but uh, it will look like this. So it is also a pretty rough shape, it's not really smooth. But what we can do, we can select it, go in modify, and then here it is, simplify in arcs and lines. Of course when we click on this button, we have three parameters that we can play with. The maximum distance, which is uh, basically the maximum distance uh, that uh, we want between two points. Then the chordal tolerance and what this parameter does is gonna exclude from uh, the construction of the polyline the points that are too far from this value. Last parameter is minimum tangency angle, which will combine the points that are within that angle. With that being said, we can uh, just uh, confirm as it is, because I want to show you also the different results that we can get. So just confirm, and as we can see, it started to add also arcs. So it replaced basically few lines with small arcs. And another thing to say is that uh, you can try as many times uh, you want because uh, what this uh, function does, basically uh, it adds another geometry and leaves the original as it is. So if you are not sure what, uh, you, what you are doing with those three parameters, just try and uh, you can immediately see the results uh, under it. So let's turn off this one for now and select and apply again the same function. And let's say that uh, I want to change the chordal tolerance. Let's Let's exaggerate a little bit, so from the standard, which is 0.02, let's go to 1 and confirm. Now, first of all, we have a lot less geometries and compared to the original, it is a lot smoother. So let's turn off and see, actually with both on, you are not able to really see the geometry, the shape, but you see now it's a lot smoother. 
and in this case also the machine will uh, will do that so if you like it you can uh, keep it as it is and create the panel and apply the machining but don't don't forget that you if you want maybe this corner rounded or this corner rounded you can go ahead and play again with those parameters to see we turn on the original and then select simplify and, and keep playing with the parameters otherwise don't forget that in bsolid there are other functions like we have seen already chamfer or fillet so we can eventually select that and probably in this case 10 is too much 5 as well here you go and then double click and we can also adjust the points as we prefer so there are a lot of different uh, possibilities this is it for this video I hope it was helpful for you guys. See you at the next video.